hey guys what's up welcome to my life vlog style quick little story about my car okay and manifesting and vision boards when i went to the dealership i went about i went last december or no actually it was it was like last summer because my brother was in town so my brother took me up to the mercedes dealership and we looked at cars and when i was there that's when i like knew like okay this is for real what i want like i had it on my vision board the year before but i had other stuff that i thought personally was like higher priority um but this year when i put it on i knew i was like focused in on it so last year when i went to the dealership um the guy gave us water and i told my brother i'm like i'm keeping the waters and i'm keeping the little pamphlets they give you and i'm gonna just keep looking at those until i force myself to get that car like i'm just that's just is weird but that was like my way of manifestation and i still have the freaking water my mom was like going through the pantry and i was like oh the waters and now i have the car it's kind of weird i don't know if that was like weird to y'all but little things like that always just make me feel like you literally can manifest whatever your little heart desires man like i know that so many people and let me just say this real quick this isn't like braggy or anything like that because one my car wasn't even like brag worthy price you know what i'm saying like i'm not sitting here like i got a g-wagon and la 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 like it's not even anything like that i'm just saying you guys it's important to manifest and talk about and visualize the things that you want in life even if it's not a car even if it's good grades or to get into a certain school or to get into a career field or to get a job like whatever it is that you want to do i think it's very important that you manifest that like speak it into existence have things around you that you can see that make you remember that that is what you want um because it's, i think it works i feel like i've manifested enough things into my life where i can say that i feel like it actually works at least it works for me so um there's that but i'm gonna show you guys some clips of my car like i don't i tried to do like a car tour and it just was weird like i just felt really weird talking about my car like i don't know why but i just did so i'll probably insert some clips next and that'll be like what my car looks like and stuff Okay, now that we're back from that and you guys got to see what my car looks like, next topic. All right, guys, so I got a few packages today. The one I'm most excited about is the one I got from Eunice. It is new hair. You guys know my birthday is coming up soon. Um, I don't know when this vlog is going to go up, but as of today, my birthday's in um a week and a day so i got new hair for my birthday this is really long i think this is the longest i've ever like had my hair i think well i'm gonna have my hair i think i'm gonna make a wig out of it i'll show you some of the stuff i used to make my wigs too in a second but this is water wave i don't know the exact name of the like origin of the hair if it's like brazilian or italian or something but it is water wave hair i got a 20 a 20 inch frontal and that already itself is long for a frontal that's so long and then i got a 26 inch bundle a 24 and then two 22s i don't know if i'm gonna be able to fit all this on the wig but i surely am gonna try i usually like to make my wigs super full i'll link a tutorial down below um of someone who I follow like there's a bunch of wig videos on YouTube that's why I haven't made one because there's literally like a bajillion I'll show you a couple that I follow but I'll show you some of the stuff I use when I make my wig so I just came back from Sally's because um it's Sally's <laughs> and I always go there when I get hair stuff I got some new shampoo and conditioner I got Proclaim um the girl there said she used it and she said that it was helping she damaged her hair it's like hella bright purple so I trusted her I don't know how this is gonna go but I'll let you know I always get um bleach because i bleach my frontals i bleach the knots on them so if you're not sure what that means there's little like dots i don't know if my camera's gonna focus wherever the hair is tied on the frontal you can see on the lace there's little black dots i feel like if you bleach those it really helps to look a lot more natural when it's on your head so i always bleach my knots i use quick blue from l'oreal and then i have developer because i needed some more of that 
I also get this wig cap. It's kind of big, but I if it's I usually like cut the top off. I don't know how to explain this, but it's big. If it's big on the head, like you see how it's like <laughs> Levi sneezed. You see how it's kind of like baggy on his head here. I usually cut this part out and sew up the cap and then just make it fit my head. Um, there's probably an easier way to do that, but that's just how I do. I got new needles because I haven't made a wig in like, I don't even know. Yes, I broke my nail, but I'm holding out until Wednesday. My nail appointment is Wednesday, so I'm looking trash. Uh, and then I got, I got this olive edge gel. I don't really know why I picked this up. I felt like I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I'm going to touch the texture. I was hoping that it was like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know guys, but I'm gonna try it and I'll let you know how I like it or whatever So I got this stuff. Why is my camera not focusing at all? Anyways, I got this stuff and I'll let you guys know how I like it. So Yeah, but that's it. I'm gonna show you guys the wig once I make it. It's just me finding time to do so So that's my birthday here y'all. I'll link Eunice down below if you want to check out the website on your own I will also have links of the stuff that I got in case you're curious about what I got for and I'll name all the stuff I use to make a wig just in case you're curious or you want to try something new What up guys? I still have my little headband on. I just finished filming um, a video. I did full face of MAC products that I really like. Some of them are like hidden gems that I don't really see people talking about. So I thought I had a whole drawer full of stuff because I still shop at Mac frequently. Um, I'm a Mac girl at heart. That was like my first real makeup job. So ever since I've worked there, I just have like this undeniable love for the brand. So yeah, I had all this stuff and I was like, let me just let me do a video just talking about some of the stuff that I really like so that'll be up on my channel after this vlog obviously because the vlog is gonna go up first so yeah now I am about to go pick up Levi from school um I dropped him off this morning he was like a little cranky so hopefully he's in a better mood I'm gonna do that and then I have some lash bar work to do now that I finish filming I can kind of breathe on YouTube plus this vlog I have some content for that and then I have to get some lash bar stuff done um I recently found a graphic designer for lash bar which is awesome because I really needed that um so that makes me happy I got a package that I ordered from Miss Lola. I was supposed to get my Ulta package today too, but I didn't get that. So I don't know what Ulta is on, but um, that's late. Um, but the shoes I got are really cute. I'll show you. Sorry, when I walk away from the window, my pretty light goes away. I think it's a little strange that they package each shoe in a bag, but here's one style I got. They are like snakeskin. I feel like snakeskin trend is coming back. So I got a pair of those. I got these black lace-up ones. They have like the little toe and then the clear band and then they like tie up so there's string. And then I basically got the nude version. Yeah, I got the nude version of the black shoe essentially. It's not the same exact. So it doesn't have the toe thing. It just has the strap across the foot. But this one really ties up. And I just need a new basic heel. So, and they were affordable. They were having, I should take these ears off because I'm not filming anymore. So they had 30% off. I feel like they always have like 30 or 35 or 20% off their shoes. And I always hear people talking about that they're like decent shoes. So I picked up a few pair. Um, I'm excited to try them out. I'm trying to get more into heels this year even though the year's almost over we still got time um I said I was gonna do it as soon as I turned 25 but that was a lie so yeah I'm gonna try to get more into heels I'm gonna be buying more heels and boots with heels and stuff I told myself every other month I would buy like three pair of heels something like that so that I can start getting a collection going um what else do I need to update you guys on sorry that this vlog was really like patchy like one minute I was talking about my car and then I jumped to hair and now I'm here and I got a full face makeup on and you're like what day is it even um but I'm just trying to get in the swing of things with vlogging I don't really know how to vlog this is like my first real test run at it so um just bear with me i'm gonna be doing better vlogging content and i need to get another camera so my goal is to actually put up a few vlogs and if you guys like them then i'll treat myself with a smaller vlog camera because i have the a5100 
that's what this is and it's so heavy like my arms already tired but i'm just trying to I mean, i'm trying to bear through i did get my nails done i you guys saw when i was um talking about the hair how shitty my nails were i went today and got my nails and my toes done i always get the gel version of opi bubble bath and i got little studs on them i don't know if you can tell this is what they look like and i got white on my toes um i needed to go to costco to get gas if you guys follow me on social media you know that i be hype about costco gas because my car takes premium and premium can be kind of expensive i'm gonna sit down because i'm gonna talk to you guys for like a few more minutes um premium can be kind of expensive and not that i really care like if i if i just don't have time to go to costco i just get gas at my local gas station it's not a big deal but sometimes i can save like 75 cents per gallon at costco like then that doesn't sound like a lot but i'm adulting and that's a lot per gallon you know how people just have weird things like things that they're just weird about i'm weird about gas i don't like to be under a half a tank when i'm driving a car i just i don't know anything could happen i don't fucking know it's kind of stupid but that's just like the ocd in me so so this was like i said kind of a tester vlog to see if i like had the balls to actually upload it so if you're watching this then i did and i'm gonna be vlogging more um but let me know what you guys want to see i am like doing i'm having like major shifts in my life i know i'm gonna be talking about working out on my channel let me get this out of my mouth okay i am gonna be talking about fitness more on my channel as well it's just i'm trying to get in the solid habit of working out i have a personal trainer we try to get together monday wednesday friday but the past couple weeks it's been a little bit patchy because i've had health things going on and then she had health things going on so we kind of are just trying to get on a regular schedule so that i can talk to you guys about what's actually working for me because i'm actually consistently doing it you know what i'm saying um i'm also going to tell you guys about some of the workouts i do at home what else kind of content am i working on business i want to do like a whole little series on starting a business and stuff it's just I have to get an assistant guys because I have a way too much on my plate and trying to add on like developing my own series for YouTube which would take a lot of time and notes and reading and research I just don't have that time at this very moment but when I get an assistant and they can kind of take some of the stuff that I do have on my plate off of it I will have time to do that because I really want to go in detail and help you guys out I know there's a lot of people wanting to start a business or just started a business and they're just kind of looking for pointers and tips on how to maintain, manage, grow, things like that. And I'm not like this huge multi-million dollar company or anything, but I've been able to maintain and grow my business over the course of a year and some change now. So I want to share the wealth. Everybody should be able to win. There's enough money for everybody out there. I don't want to be like, oh, I don't want anybody else starting a lash company. I'm not like that. I think that if you want to start an eyelash company, go for it. Um, just be mindful of how you approach other lash companies. I will give you guys this little tidbit. I've had people write me on my lash page and say, who does your packaging? Like there's like business etiquette and that to me isn't business etiquette. I don't mind like giving general tips, but I don't really like when people ask specific questions like who's your vendor? Who does, who does this for you? Like who developed your packaging? Like what's the exact Pantone color of this that you have? And it's like, no, no, I don't like giving out that information because that's just like, that's just brand etiquette. I would never go to House of Lashes and be like, I really like your lashes. Who's your vendor? Because why would they give me that information? Why would they sell? Why would they give me the person that they buy lashes from so I could have the same styles as them purposely? Now, don't get me wrong. There are there are tons of brands out here that are using the same vendors and the price difference on some of these brands is insane. But I'm not, I'm not I don't think that somebody would go to Lily Lashes and be like, hi, can you tell me who your vendor is? Like, I highly doubt that. I highly doubt they're going to tell that. So just keep that in mind in any business. Even if you admire a business, there's a way to like approach them and get tips without like invading their like personal business bubble and being like, give me all the answers. You know what I'm saying? There's a thin line in between and you just got to find that. So yeah, I, I think this is enough rambling for right now. I got to go pick up Levi because I'm already running a little behind and I got to get something to eat. I'm freaking starving. So I'm going to do those two things and yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. So I will see you guys in my next one.